Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish nations. And I'm just having one of those days where I cannot make words come out of my mouth correctly. But anyway, um, we're doing a budget check-in. It's the freaking weekend, so it's time to check in on our budget together. And we are doing week two, April 2021. If you're new here, I use Every Dollar, which is a Dave Ramsey product. Um, and I'm not a Dave Ramsey devotee, but it is a free software. I do use the free version that works with the way I do my budget. Um, if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, I would love it if you like it. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more information on budgeting, saving, investing from the perspective of a starving artist. Oh yeah, I guess my I kind of am playing with the name of my channel. Let me know what you, you think below. Um, I think it's a starving artist to fire right now, but I should probably change that to FI because the RE part is just like not something that's ever going to happen. Um, but that's cool. I think I was kind of retired already in a way in an earlier part of my life um, because of my artist lifestyle. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think down below. Um, or if you have any other ideas, thoughts about like what would describe this channel well. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into my transactions. Um, so first of all, my Chewy order came out. That's 7203. And that goes under my daily living um, cat categories. So it's kind of like daily living for me and these little beings that I share my life with. Um, so 7203, I think last month I was talking about maybe just bulk ordering and having food sitting here in my house instead of having a bill every month. Um, in terms of the money I'm spending, it's the same, uh, but I just haven't had a huge amount of capacity lately, and so I just didn't, didn't change the way I was doing things, and I probably won't, so yeah. Anyway, um, while we're on the topic of pets, I also stopped at the um, pet health food store. I just happened to be near it to pick up their little pouches of wet food that I mix their medicine with. And uh, even though I went to like the bougie health food store, they actually didn't have very many single protein um, pouches, which my cat can't eat chicken. So like a lot of cat food just has chicken mixed in. Um, but I bought a few there. That was 2113. And then I just went to my regular place and I bought uh, their sort of regular stuff. And I also tried out some canned foods that didn't contain chicken to see if they, if there were any that they liked. I don't know, these little treat packs have been the most successful with my picky cat, um, but we'll try some other things. That was $38.34. It's going to go into Kittles. Um, yeah, I spent about... Forty dollars last in in March, and those lasted me all the way through March, into April, about eight days. So I think um, with the amount of packets and cans I got, um, I think this could last me well into May. We'll see. Obviously, if she doesn't like all of them, my other cat will eat them eventually. But then sometimes I have to re-up for her. But I'm hoping that I've, I'm dialing in a little bit, like what I need for the month. And as long as I get enough variety, as long as I get enough variety, she usually is pretty happy to take her medicine. Um, all right. So I also went to the grocery store for myself. I went to Gross Out, and that was fifty-two twenty-five. dollars um, But I'm going to break this out just a little bit because um, I thought they happened to have like the big like 96 um, serving container of the laundry soap I use, which it's just a random laundry soap. It's like Arm & Hammer or something. Um, but I went ahead and picked that up. And so that's going to go into a household. So I think that was about 10 bucks. Um, so the rest will go in there. While I was there, they did have um, grass-fed ground beef for $4.99 a pound, which was pretty cool. So I picked up a couple of those. So a couple of things that went into the freezer. I also got some like red peppers and plantains. So a few things to cook this week. Um, I am definitely thinking about doing some more meal prep videos this month because I have just 
really struggled to like adult and like feed myself this month. Um, so I know those videos were really in, like motivating uh, and kind of give me gave me some accountability. So let me know if you're you're interested in that. I also went to the co-op and while I was there, I mostly went to get jars because I decided to do a big batch of fermented giardiniera. Not sure if I'm saying that right. My mom corrected me about a thousand times, um, but I made some big jars of mixed Italian pickle and I needed more jars in order to be able to accommodate the ingredients that I had. So while I was there, I also picked up a variety of spices that I had sort of run out of or wanted to add to my collection. And overall, I spent $33.20. So that will go into groceries. Where did it go? There it is. And last but not least, I went to Ralph's solely to get Girl Scout cookies to do my part to support the Girl Scouts of America, AKA to eat my cookies. And um, while I was there, I did pick up some um, peppers and celery for my Giardinara, but that was 28.03. So let's go ahead and put that in. Um, okay, so I'm not quite halfway through the month and I have 117.28, but I do have quite a bit of protein in the freezer, so We'll keep this in mind as I go into my the rest of the month and think about doing some meal prep videos because I do need to be on top of things. Um, not so much for the budget, though the budget is really important, but more for like being able to feed myself like an adult. Does anyone have like super low capacity this month? Like what is it? What is it? Okay. I went out to eat with my friend that lives downstairs, who's also a pod mate, and that was 36.33. Um, that's going to go under restaurants. That might seem a little high. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, it was super good food, and also they have a little store, so I picked up a few items, um, and of course, I left a good tip. So that's that. Uh, I also went and got Violet's medicine, which I put down here in my sinking fund for my cats because their medicine is still a bit of a mystery to me. That was $61. And last but not least, I got paycheck number one for the month. So that's going to go into, where are you? The next month category. That was $2,129.82. This is for my base pay for my full-time job and then I also adjunct at the same place so I get additional obviously additional pay for that but it's all in one check so that goes into next month this April interest I haven't added it up yet I've been changing over accounts so I have a lot of different places to look and then also like the accounts act different um, I always put my interest into this little account called savings and that's because my old main online bank did that. I don't really know why. I don't know what the, <laughs> the point is, but I kind of like it. And so I'm going to continue it. Um, but I do need to like collect those numbers. So I will do that before the end of the month. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope that you are having an awesome month. Um, let me know down below how your April is going and let me know if you've had super low capacity lately or if it's just me, um, which is fine. It will come back. I know it will. Um, and if you have to, like it will come back, but um, let me know if you're, you're picking up what I'm putting down and I will see you in the next video.